20, but you want me to try to get a million over a million people to come to worship and believe God. And God said, God, Moses told God, he said, I need proof that you are with me. And the Bible said, Moses stuck his hand in his jacket. Y'all ain't talking to me. He pulled it out and it was leprous. He stuck it back. Y'all ain't talking to me. God will always send miracles to prove to powers that I am with you. I'm so glad that God, the Bible talks about Joshua taking on the mantle of Moses on the task of leading these people into what Moses took them to. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead, but arise, take my people out of this wilderness and take them into their land. He said, now you will have good success. And he said, now I'm going to program you to understand these words. I have already given you the land. But then he tells them, but you won't have to possess it. Yeah. Now it my mind, Brother yeah. because if you've given it to me, wouldn't that mean I possessed it? Yeah. But there are many things that God has given you, but if you don't take it, yeah. you don't have Come it. On. I just need somebody to shout hallelujah. God has already given us healing, but if you don't take healing, like the word said, the kingdom suffered violent, but the violence take it by force. Many of us tonight we have to get a new tenacity, a new strength, a new glory to God, a new fervor, fervor about ourselves that we take what God has given unto us. I'm not going to wait for God to do it. God already did what He said He was going to do. Some folks wait on God to give you a job. Wait on God to bless with this. Wait on God. God has already done it. But you have got to possess it. Possess it, preacher. What do you mean? He said you're going to have to possess it. Because when you get in there, there are going to be some Amalekites, some Hittites, some Jesus. All these things are going to be inhabiting your land. And I want to say this to eight people. Glory to God, better get this in your spirit. There's somebody that's occupying your promise. God said, if you can get enough power in your spirit, you can take back what the devil stole from you. Uh, uh, and so, amen, glory to God. He said, there's some Malachites, there's some Hittites. All of these ites are going to be there. And they are going to be inhabiting your land. They're going to be occupying your land. And the only way you're going to be able to occupy it is you're going to have to possess it. There's some warfare that comes with being blessed. You want to be blessed, you got to be willing to go through. You got to be willing to suffer. Blessed people are people who know how to hang through tough times. You got to be able to look the devil in the face and say, Yes, glory to God, I'm blessed. I'm going to hold on to my blessing. And Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. I can't hear anybody here. You know what is Because God said, If I bless you, folk going to get jealous of you. If I bless you, hallelujah, people are going to give you 19 reasons why God shouldn't have done it for you. But when God put his hand on you, and when God favors you, it doesn't matter what you've been through, where you've gone. When God says, I'm favoring you, favor ain't fair. And I want to say this to me, people in here tonight, the God. The devil is secretly mad at you because God has favored you. It's already yours. It's going. I know you're gonna have to fight. I know you're gonna have to possess. Quit thinking that blessings are going to come without warfare. You're not gonna be able to glory to God have a successful marriage until you go through a season of testing. You're not going to be able to know that your membership is valid in a church until you have been looked at crazy. But you gonna leave it. How do you know what you have is legit? The way you know 
what you have is legit is after it's gone through the fire. Yeah. And it's coming back out of the fire. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Whatever just came out of the fire with you, God said, that's what I designed for you to take into yeah. your promise. Uh, hit somebody and tell them I didn't try it in the fire. sending the board, I'm not sending my staff, because oftentimes the people closest with you can sometimes be your biggest glory to God hindrances. Yes. Don't you remember when Jesus was in the crowd and the woman with the issue of blood touched him? Yes. Here come his disciples talking about what do you mean who touched you? All these people around you and you talking about who touched you? Geographically they were close, but spiritually they were far away. And sometimes you got people that's right up on you. But if you really start telling them what God is showing you, be so disconnected that they are not talking to me in here. Look at somebody and tell them, I hope you're with me. that they were in the family. Yeah. Sometimes our greatest 
are the ones with our last name. Just hey. 